Haruto Takashima was experimented on since a baby by his father to create a god. One day his academy gets suddenly attacked, making him see his childhood crush vanish in front of his eyes. Haruto gets immediately thirsty for revenge and enters a mecha robot to fight back. But in order to activate the mecha he's requested to resign humanity. Haruto quickly quits being a human and destroys the enemy. But when he gets out, one of his classmates stabs him in the heart. Without knowing Haruto became an immortal. In year 71, 70% 70 of the human population lives in space due to the development of Dyson Spheres, massive space cities. The world is divided into two main powers, Eris and the Dorsha Military Federation. However, lying between these two superpowers, there's a minor nation JIOR, which declared neutrality between the two forces and has now reached economic prosperity. Haruto is an ordinary 17-year-old high school student at Sakamori Academy. He's competing with her childhood friend and crush, Shoko, in an eating contest, but he deliberately loses to her. Shoko later asks Haruto why he lost on purpose. He expresses, he doesn't like to compete and wishes that people could negotiate and share things instead of competing. The new transfer student, El Elf listens to it while passing by and makes fun of his ideals while bullying him. Later, while cleaning the school's shrine, Haruto musters up his courage and tries to confess to Shoko. But suddenly the Dorshin military sends their squadron of mecha to invade the area. They start bombarding it, turning the whole place into a battlefield. Haruto and Shoko decide to run and get shelter in the school. But at the same time, a mysterious mecha valve rave emerges next to them. Haruto sees Shoko rush to save the man trapped in the car. But the enemy mecha fires at her, destroying everything. Haruto is shocked and starts to call for her. But his friends tell him to accept reality, she's already dead. Haruto cries in pain and anger, and then boards the Valvrave after deciding to avenge her death. After failing to activate the Valvrave multiple times, he notices a message on the display screen. The message questions if he is willing to resign to be a human being, and he gets injected with a substance after accepting it. The Valvrave finally activates, and Haruto dodges all enemy fires and attacks. He strikes his enemies with Valvrave's blade as a result. He destroys and blasts all of the enemy mechas. Everyone starts to praise Haruto, but on the other hand, he just mourns Shoko's death. On his way back to school, El Elf appears and reveals his identity as a Dorshin military spy. He proceeds to stab Haruto in the chest and shoots him multiple times but before leaving. Haruto rises back up again and attacks him from behind, biting his neck. Later Haruto's friends discover the bodies of the unconscious El Elf and Haruto. Suddenly El Elf's companions appear, expressing their desire to take the Valvrave and point their guns at them. Haruto wakes up in El Elf's body and helps his friends escape by shooting the other four Dorshin spies. After getting into a safe zone, Haruto explains the truth and proves to be himself in El Elf's body. Later, Haruto decides to take his body back and the Valvrave that were both captured by Dorsha. He kills two enemy guards to steal a helicopter and uses it to infiltrate one of the enemy research facilities. He successfully secures his body and finds it strange that it doesn't have any injuries. After heading inside Valvrave, his friend Saki ties Haruto still in El Elf's body up, and Haruto bites his original body to switch back. He then takes control of Valvrave to escape from the enemy site and enters space. The Dorshin forces manage to catch up to them and start launching their attacks to stop him. While Haruto is busy destroying enemy mecha, dodging fire and missiles, El Elf takes this chance to free himself and takes Saki hostage, ordering Haruto to surrender. But he soon learns that he's considered a traitor, because Haruto shot the Dorshin spies while in control of El Elf's body. Suddenly, Haruto receives an unexpected call from Shoko and finds out that she is still alive. Yet, his Valvrave overheats and starts to emit a golden light. With this new power, Haruto manages to hold the enemy until the arrival of help from the Eris fleet. After returning safely, El Elf is arrested and Haruto goes to meet Shoko. Still, instead of confessing his love as he promised, he laughs off and walks away, realizing that he has no right to confess after turning into a monster. In the next day, Haruto reveals his regenerating abilities to his friends and asks them to keep it a secret. Suddenly, something triggers Haruto and he jumps on his friend Kuma trying to bite him. Saki manages to stop him with a slap and makes him turn back to normal, making him realize he's not human anymore. He meets Eris Senator Figaro, praising him for becoming a symbol of hope. Later in the day, while expecting a future attack, Haruto helps soldiers to evacuate the school, in order to save everyone from Dorsha's next attack. Haruto suddenly witnesses students panicking in the crowd and when he turns around, he sees El Elf, who escaped from the prison. 
El Elf asks him to form a pact with him. He wants to start a revolution in Dorsha. If Haruto helps him, El Elf will help him save everyone's life. Haruto refuses his offer but before leaving, El Elf tells him to give him a peace sign whenever he decides to change his mind and needs his help. Later Haruto finds that Senator Figaro is testing the Valrave in a random soldier and tries to stop him. But no one listens to him and the soldier gets injured in the process. The Dorshan forces suddenly appear and start their new attack module. The Senator Figaro finally shows his true colors. Instead of saving the refugees, he captures Valrave and Haruto to take with him since he is the only one who can pilot Valrave. His friends appear to release Haruto after noticing the Senator might be lying to them. Haruto then reveals Senator Figaro's plan to the group and rushes to stop the Senator who has already opened fire at the students. Haruto fights with guards and secures Valrave to threaten the senator, and the soldiers with it. El Elf appears and reminds students how Dorshan forces are ready to attack them at any time and hold their families hostage. After everyone is sound and secure, Haruto heads into space while dodging Dorshan forces attack. He then uses his guns to free their space city from JIOR's control by destroying the connection between the two. After breaking the connection, the space city declares its independence and everyone starts to live a carefree life. A few days later, Haruto and Saki decide to explore the underground of the space city where they discover more valve raids. He then asks her to keep this a secret between them, because he wants to prevent people from its curse. Saki promises she will keep it a secret, but in the end, she ignores Haruto's warning and pilots one of the new Valrave, named Carmilla, resigning to be a human being. Haruto chases after her flying Carmilla with his Valrave and convinces her to stop. In the next day, the Dorshan army attacks them once again. Saki surprises everyone by piloting a Valverave and fights the Dorshan army with her weapon Spindle Knuckles. Haruto also joins her in fights with the enemy. The Dorsane army destroys the Eris fleet as a result kills Senator Figaro, and uses Valverave's weakness of fighting long-range battles to put both Haruto and Saki at disadvantage. Saki becomes scared at first but then helps Haruto to deal with the enemy missiles and force the enemy to retreat. After the battle, Haruto reveals the existence of other Valvraves to his friends and teachers, asking them to not reveal this information. Soon later, El Elf takes all the girls hostage and informs Haruto in the school's announcement of how new JIOR is under his control. Haruto goes to board Valvrave to fight him, but El Elf ambushes him from behind, revealing it was all a bait. Suddenly, a Dorshan military man appears and starts firing at them. El Elf uses Haruto as a body shield, resulting in him getting shot several times. El Elf tries to convince Adre that Haruto is a critical part of his plan to liberate Dorsha. Qvir, one of El Elf's former squad members intervenes with his mecha and starts firing aimlessly killing Aina, one of Haruto's friends. El Elf pulls out a lever and sends Qvir's mecha back into space. He then heads to Haruto and offers him to switch their bodies so he can fight with Dorshan forces to which he agrees. Haruto then joins the battle in El Elf's body to aid Saki, who's been struggling to fight the Dorshan forces. With El Elf predictions and instructions written on notes, Haruto fires at enemy units with accuracy and agility, disabling their electromagnetic boomerang launcher and forcing the enemy army to retreat. Later, he finds a picture of a girl from El Elf's pocket, and starts to randomly cry after looking at the picture, as if he can also feel the host's body's real memories and emotions. After the battle, El Elf wakes up and informs Haruto's group that they have six hours until Dorsha's next attack, reminding Haruto of their pact. Haruto starts to be blamed by Kuma for Aina's death, but they stop because the Dorshan army appears once again and resumes their attacks. This time they're completely prepared and even using navy ships to infiltrate Academy. Haruto and Saki head out into space to deal with enemies. He starts to smash the enemy's mechas, but soon they both face trouble in dodging electromagnetic boomerangs. On the verge of losing, Haruto communicates with El Elf and finally forms a pact with him, deciding to put his trust in him. With El Elf's strategy and their teamwork, he counterattacks and gains the upper hand, and fires at a specific point on JIOR's module that unleashes the seawater. As a result, it cools down his Valvrave and also makes enemy navy ships sink in the sea. Later, Haruto starts to charge his Valvrave up to overheat it until it starts to emit the golden light. He then uses its power and strikes the enemy's fleet with his Harakiri blade, defeating Dorshan forces. After the battle, the space city heads toward a neutral territory safe form Dorsha named Moons. Haruto trusts El Elf and lets him decide on their strategic planning so they can minimize their casualties. But he loses control once again, forcing El Elf to punch him and bring him back to a normal state. 
A few days later, the Dorshan squadrons attack once again, but they struggle to breach the defenses because of El Elf's newly created barrier system, military training and organized defense formation. Aruto and Saki head out to fight the Dorshan forces and follow the retreating enemy's fleet, but soon realize that the enemy has lured them out and another Dorshan fleet is ready to attack the space city. The Dorshan forces fire their missiles and lasers, as a result, stopping them from protecting everyone. On the other side the enemy fires a cannon to blow the space city. But before a tragedy occurs, Kuma and Yamada appear using a valve raid to save the city and destroy the Dorshan fleet to retreat. After their return, Haruto in anger tries to punch El Elf for pushing other students to pilot the valve raids. On the next day, while in the elevator, Haruto loses control again and attacks Takahi. But Saki manages to stop him in time and takes him outside, telling him she will kill him if he ever becomes a beast. A few days later Haruto meets up with Saki and they go on a date. Suddenly, the Dorshan unit attacks them once again and all four pilots join the battle. El Elf instructs them to move to a specific coordinate, making the enemy thinks they are running away forcing the enemy to break their formation to catch them. Haruto and his group take this opportunity and strike the enemy with the laser. El Elf tells Haruto that he only needs to use his Harakiri blade at right time, and he will be able to annihilate them in one strike. Haruto waits for the right moment, and Haruto destroys the fleet with his Harakiri blade. Suddenly, Captain Kane drills into the space city from below and releases his men to invade the city. Haruto decides to head inside and wait for his Valvrave to cool down and asks Saki to marry him before leaving. Saki refuses his proposal and tells him to save Shoko. After heading inside, El Elf informs him that his teacher, Captain Kane, is the mastermind behind all this, and also tells him that the enemy is releasing poisonous gas with the drill, which will result in the whole space city being filled with gas if the drill reaches the surface. They both go to retrieve his valve rave and find Kane there. Haruto tries to stop Kane from taking his valve rave but Kane shoots and injures Haruto. El Elf tries to punch Kane but he easily fends off his attack and knocks him down. Haruto holds Kane so El Elf can run away but Adre shows up and points his gun at him. Both of them are on the verge of death, when suddenly, a valve rave appears piloted by the most antisocial girl, and genius hacker in school, Akira. Using her valve rave weapon, she hacks and destroys all enemy mechas and the drilling machine, forcing the enemy to fight themselves. In the process, she also frees Haruto and El Elf who now have the chance to fight back and take Valvraid. They get into the mecha and Haruto fires his lasers to kill Kane, but as soon as they are about to confirm their victory, they notice Kane floating in the sky. Kane starts to glow and flies toward a broken Valvrave. He somehow activates this broken Valvraid and starts flying it, while it takes a new humanoid form. Haruto and El Elf are shocked, and they finally realize that Kane isn't also human. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.